I thought that some of you might like to see the new voice control system that is built into the operating system called Catalina. This picture is of Catalina Island off the coast of California. And so they built into this new operating system by going to System Preferences, Accessibility, then scrolling down, Voice Control. And then you have to enable it by using the tick here and you can set up your microphone and what language you're using here and I also have a play sound when the command is recognized so I'm going to leave that checked and now I can start using it. So once you have voice control on the system you'll see this little icon over here to be on your desktop you can move it around and What's nice about it is when you say a command, it's going to show up right above here. So any of the applications that are down here, all you have to do is say the word open and the name of the application and it will open. So I have Excel and Word on my computer. I'm going to open Microsoft Word first. Open Microsoft Word. Quit Microsoft Word. Open Microsoft Excel. And so the application opens. And then I can start a new spreadsheet if I want. But I'm just going to close it. Quit Microsoft Excel. The next thing you need to know is how to open all the commands so that you can see them which will help you learn the application better. Say, show commands. And you'll get this list here. You can navigate through the list by scrolling. You can also close down one of the topics by clicking on this arrow. And so you have basic navigation, overlays and mouse, dictation, text selection, text navigation, text editing, and text deletion. So anytime you want to read about some of the commands here, you just open them up. Hide commands. Show commands. We're going to now look at how you can move the mouse. I have it up here in the light blue sky so it's easier to see. And you can move the mouse by moving it so many pixels up, down, left, and right. So all you have to do is say, move mouse left 50 pixels. Move mouse down 50 pixels. Move mouse left 100 pixels. It seems like 100 is about the maximum. Another thing that you can do when you have an application open, which will be easier for us to see in, Open Safari is you can say show grid. This gives you a bunch of little boxes where you can then define where you want it to go. So between Tweener and LinkedIn there's number 14. I select 14. Now it gives me an even smaller grid and then I can choose which one I want. Let's say I want LinkedIn. I would select 14. Double click. And that should open up LinkedIn. But it didn't. So when you have an error like that, there is another avenue and you can use that command, which is to show the numbers instead of showing the grid. So you would say, show numbers. And you see that I want to open the weather channel which is 27 and so all I have to do is say the number 27 and there you go it opens the page now there can be trouble as you can see with using the show grid but the show grid is great for a whole lot of other things another thing that you can do is you can move the mouse and drag things so if I have my pointer up here on this bar, if I've moved it up here on this bar, I can say, click and hold mouse, move mouse left 50 pixels. 
Move mouse down 20 pixels. Release mouse. So those are your basic mousing techniques that you can use with your voice.